What's up guys, Dr. Ben Atkins here, and I wanted to sh just cut a real quick uh, video to show you how you can integrate SMS marketing with uh, your existing autoresponder or set it up uh, with an autoresponder service uh, that you've got going. So I'm going to use Aweber and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to uh, get SMS marketing where you can have people opt in on the web and collect their phone numbers. Uh, you can, like I said, you can even set these forms up for mobile and get their phone numbers and you know start building a text marketing list um, that's really cheap to run using uh, Aweber. So let's get started. First things first, uh, if you look below this video, I've got a couple places. If you don't have an Aweber account, if you don't have a Call Loop account, you can sign up through the links below so you can get everything you need to get started and then just follow this video. But uh, first things first, let's go through and let's uh, check out Call Loop. Now, Call Loop is just a really cool way to do text marketing. Uh, they have a really cool platform. I'm a big Twilio fan, but I've also been using Call Loop quite a bit and I've been pretty impressed with it. So, a couple of things that we want to do. We want to go into Call Loop. Now, you're going to have to set up your account. Like I said, I've got a link below that you can click to set up an account. It's pretty stinking cheap, just to be honest with you. So, set one up, put your info in, and what you want to do is you want to go in here and create a new list. All right, so we're going to create a new list, and Call Loop is setting that up, and we're just going to call this. It's I'm going to pull it my my test list. So my test list. So we're going to go in, do the my test list. We're going to enable SMS, and I'm just going to say I'm going to you know send three messages. Um, have a provider. This is for your autoresponder. So we're going to collect. We're we're going to set up through Aweber. And we're going to, you know, set everything up there. Now, on my sites, uh, after they opt in, I want to take them to a page. So I'm going to type in my page. And this isn't actually going to be there, but just for example purposes, test after sign up. So this is after they sign up and they put in their stuff, this is where they're going to land. So once they put in their, uh, you know, their information, their phone number, they're actually going to land uh, on this page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click the create list button. So give that just a sec. And what call loop is going to do is call loop is going to give us an address. So hang on to this. We're going to come back to this in just a second. And I'll show you where to set that up. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Aweber and I have selected a list and I have gone to the section where you can create a form. So this is just a one of my lists in Aweber. Uh, when you log into Aweber, you can see pretty much all your lists here. But this is just where I'm going to create a form. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new form. And we are going to set up pretty much from scratch. And you know what? You could change all this stuff. Um, but I'm just... You know, I'm going to basically leave this since we're just doing an example here. So what you want to do is you want to create a new field. You want to create a new field. Okay, so we're going to click the button and it's going to ask us what we want to call the field and we're just going to call it phone. Now this actually has to line up with what you set up in the call loop section and if you were to go back, I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and then I'm going to take you into this list so you can see what we actually called this. So I'm going to go into the test list, and we're going to hit the edit button so you can go back. And you can see that I called it phone here. So in Aweber, I actually have to call it phone there. So we're going to save that. And what I want to do is I just want to have it a place where they can input uh, text. Okay. So we're going to set that up, and we are going to uh, set it up where they can input text. Okay, so everything's good there. Um, we've got everything we need. We're just, you know, no values in there. I don't want to put anything, uh, but I do want to require it because I want them to fill in their phone number and we're going to click save. And now I'm going to go ahead and save my web form and we're going to go on to step two. Now, of course, you want some call to actions and things like that. Now, this is the real key here. And I'm going to put this as my phone form. But I'm going to go in and we're going to do a custom page on both of these. So we do a custom page. Now remember that thing we copied down um, where we had this and it gave us this code here? This is what we're going to actually post right here. So that's what we've got there. Now make sure you've got this and this will be the thank you pages for Aweber. But make sure what you actually do here, and this is really, really important, is you have to pass the form data. The passing the form data, what that does with call loop is it's going to send everything that just went in that form, it's going to send it to the call loop page and that's going to opt them in not only to your Aweber list, but to your call loop list where you've got your 
text stuff. So we're going to actually go in and now that we've done that, we're going to save this and we are going to go on to step three, which is how we actually publish our form. So let's click over here. I want to install my form myself. Uh, I'm just going to grab the JavaScript version here and we are going to pop it into just a straight up WordPress. Now this is not going to be pretty, but I just want you guys to see kind of what happens. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and view this page. And you can see some stuff from an old site. Let's see if I can turn that off so we can get a good clean and I'm not distracting anybody. Just so we just have the form that you're looking at. So we've got this form set up and we're going to type in some information. And we're putting in... Let's pick in, let's just say, the standard phone number um, in there that is going to be, you know, not a real phone number, but it's going to collect it. So you've got a couple things. You got an email, you got a name there, you got a couple things that are showing up. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to click submit. So we click submit. Now, what happens? Watch what happens when we click submit here. Now, what happened is, is it went to the call loop. And remember where I said test after sign up? This is the page that I told it to. Now, I told you we didn't actually create that page. But if we had created that page, it would have led us there. Now, all this stuff is that stuff that we put into AWeber that is passing the stuff to call loop. So what is going to happen is, is it'll land on whatever page you tell it. If I'd actually created the page, it would have landed us on the test after sign up page. All this stuff after the question mark is how we actually get them onto the opt-in as well. So just so you know, that's what that is. All right. So what we're going to do is now we're actually going to go over here to this and I'm going to click into so we can kind of see some things. You're going to see I have a new opt-in under this list. Let's take a look and see what it is. It's going to pull that up and you can see that's me. So we got the email opt-in and you don't have to have the email opt-in, but we have the email opt-in. We're now going to go over to our list in call loop. Give it just a second to load. And you're going to see that here's the phone number. Even though it isn't tracking on the first page, it did actually collect it. So it's got the email, it's got my name, and it absolutely has the phone number that we wanted it to do. And you can set up campaigns to do follow-ups and broadcasts via text inside of Call Loop as well. So this is the way that you can use a simple Aweber form that we built and I showed you uh, I showed you how we built that. I'm just going to take us back so you can see that form. A simple Aweber form to get people both on an email list and an SMS list using Call Loop to integrate with Aweber. And you can do this with a lot of different autoresponders but like I said I wanted to show Aweber is one of the bigger ones right now and I wanted to show you guys on a bigger one how to do that. And this is how for you know your offline clients for you know, doing stuff online, how you can have a form that they can opt in, collect the phone number, and you know some functionality that maybe your autoresponder doesn't have. You can immediately use your autoresponder to build you know a regular email list, but at the same time build a text list. I hope this is something that helps you. It's something you can knock out in just a couple minutes and set up with Call Loop. Like I said, I've got links below that you can set up your account, and you can get started doing this and get into SMS in a very easy way. Guys, I hope you love this. I hope this was something cool that you guys dig. And uh, I hope uh, you're going to go out and use this. And you know what? what's cool is if you're in offline especially, you can go out and sell this stuff to clients and get them on board, build lists for them, and do marketing with Aweber, which is something you might already be used to, and build an SMS list and an email list at the same time. All right, and one more thing. When we fill this out and we took you to this other page, what you would want to have on this page is a coupon, you know, something mobile optimized if you're using uh, this for mobile opt-ins, you know, on the go, but something that's a coupon that, uh, you know, entices people to, you know, opt into your list in the first place. All right, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, hey, post them below. I uh, put this together for you guys because I thought this would be cool, and I hope this is a cool trick that you guys will take advantage of. All right, I'll talk with you soon.